Brexit did cause some concerns about supply chains, and I was very aware that as a, I'm a diabetic, so I need my insulin, and that was all under question. That's all been all right, thankfully, but now there are concerns over things like hay fever tablets, as many sufferers are battling high pollen counts. Uh, the tablets aren't the only pills, so they're apparently difficult to get hold of at the moment. Yes, according to the British Generic Manufacturers Association, there's also a real risk the NHS will face more shortages of drugs, such as blood pressure pills, painkillers and antidepressants over the coming months. And should say, not, I suppose, just due to Brexit, but also oh, all of the problems of the, the supply pandemic. chain. Yeah, the pandemic. So, yeah, yeah, this isn't a particularly Brexit issue, it's everything else. Mm. Uh, Dr Frankie J Jackson Spence is here. Morning, Dr Hello. Frankie. Good morning. Good to see you this morning. Look, first and foremost, should people be panicking about this yet? Absolutely not. Panicking's never a good idea when it comes to any health issue. And I think panicking can actually make the problem worse. You know, I'd really advise people to not stockpile medications. They hear these headlines and your first thought is to run to your pharmacy and stock up on the pill that you take. Um, so definitely don't panic. Um, the problem isn't necessarily as bad as it may seem in certain headlines and um, you know, measures have been put in place to try and counteract this. Mm. OK, look, let's talk about the advice of people who are struggling to get uh, their medication. I mean, I've spoken to a friend of mine who was being told that because she had a, medi a, a prescription which had four drugs on and they were lacking one of them, they couldn't split the prescription, so she suddenly couldn't get any of her four medicines and was told to go around different pharmacies to see if she could find someone who could give all four. Now, clearly, she doesn't have time for that, so she's left without any of her medication. Yeah, it... The the advice that I'd give for people is that there is always an alternative. So many different drugs actually come in different formulations, different brand names, different types. And often if you're used to taking a certain pill for your medical problem, the comfort is taking that same brand or that same formulation. And actually, there's many alternatives. So I'd really recommend that people actually utilise their local pharmacists more who are really knowledgeable in alternative options for people. That would be non-prescription medication, presumably you're talking about there, because the pharmacist would, would dispense a generic, wouldn't they, if they could? So when we're talking about things like hay fever medication, mm. which are non-prescription in many cases, the pharmacist can advise on lots of different types. You know, we have over 90 different types of hay fever medications, antihistamines, and there's only a couple that are in short supply. So Pyroton, which is the main one, um, which is a medication called chlorphenamine, you can buy pharmacy own brand chlorphenamine or supermarket own brand or you can try a different hay fever tablet which is going to do the same job yeah yeah i mean with all of that as you say talk to your pharmacist it's important isn't it that if you before we do anything, we talk to a professional. Doctors are hard to get hold of at the moment, as you know, but pharmacists are actually very, very clued up on all of this. Absolutely. And also, on that note, it is quite difficult to get a doctor's appointment sometimes, but you may not actually need a doctor's appointment. You can send an e-consultation. You can even call the GP receptionist and they can send a screen message to your doctor to prescribe something of an alternative um, alternative medication. So there are other options. Um, you say not to panic and, you know, totally agree and we shouldn't be encouraging people to stockpile. But that being said, it's probably going to get worse before it gets better with some of these problems. I think if people do things like stockpile, the problem's going to get worse. Obviously, the medicine supplies are catering to demand. So if there's an increase in demand, that work will be done behind the scenes to provide the stock for that. So okay. it shouldn't mm. last too Fingers long. Crossed it yeah. catches up with that demand. Yeah. Dr. Frankie, thank you. Good to see you this morning. Thank, thank you, you very much indeed.